guys thank you again for making it out to watch this video again today i know it's been a while right i've received a lot of chat from some of my guys that are requesting for the further updates and i'm happy again today that we are here of course the last video we did was all about um, deleting users and reassigning their mailboxes to other users um after that video right i i, I had a case where a customer was um requesting that he want to bulk delete users you know what happened uh, in this situation was that uh, it was a, a um a secondary school in the united arab emirates uh the students have graduated and they are now out of the session and they wanted to delete their user just so they can create space for other users in the organization so what did i do it was a bit confusing right like i was now thinking if it's possible to create users in bulk, then it should be possible to delete users in bulk. So I just say, go to the browser and I say, delete users in bulk, Microsoft 365. And I had a document that directed me. Just mind you, you need to always use your Microsoft documents. It has a very rich library for you to learn. I think that's the link right yeah this is the link and now it's telling me how to bulk delete user and the steps are here right so it said that i should sign into azure active directory with an account that has user administration administrator in the organization here i am signed into office.com i have not signed into admin center let's say i want to follow this route to go to active directory azure active directory i just click on admin center and it loads up for me so the next thing I want to do is to click on show all. Okay. So remember, I'm following the first step ever, the first step here, right? The first step said I should sign into Azure Active Directory. I want to delete users in bulk. That's what I want to achieve. So just so you know what I'm doing. Now, coming down to this place, I will scroll down the admin center, then click on Azure Active Directory. Okay. So it has loaded up already. Now, while that is doing let's check the instruction on the bulk uh browse to active directory users bulk operation bulk delete okay so let me come back to this place where we are right now okay he said i should go to users was it let's check again what did he say we should do yeah users right bulk operation so let's go to all users and it's telling me that I should go to bulk operation. Let's wait for this to load up. Okay, so this is bulk operation. Bulk operation here. Now we are doing bulk delete. Of course, there is bulk create to create users in bulk. There is bulk invite to invite guests in bulk. But we are doing bulk delete. So we click on bulk delete. So uh, it's asking us to download a CSV template. It's optional, but I think it's worth doing it okay so let's click on download and then it's going to get a csv file for us down below now let's close this out because in that csv we have option to enter the email addresses of the users that we want to delete okay now coming to this place right let's expand here let me bring out my um, clipboard and clear everything Okay, let's see. Randomly, I want to delete some users from this test account. Let me see. I'm taking this guy off. I'm taking this guy off. I'm taking this guy off. That is three users already. Let's see. I'm taking this um, this guy. Um, yeah, let me just take the fourth guy out. Okay. Now haven't done this right the next thing i want to do is to open the csv file let me open it widely and then i would um what's this don't show again okay so this is uh, the template let me just click here so we can understand what's inside okay so it's telling me that i should replace example uh chris at contoso.com so i just want to put the email address of those users that i want to delete let me start from this one john here 
okay that's pasted let me go to the second user this uh, this user also and then the third user Paul James I am feeling that um, this guy up here I have his accounts uh, this account is actually active I wouldn't want to delete it so three users is okay for us to follow our example so now look at it I have been able to add three users that I want to delete now let's save that as um, as um, let's save it on the downloads and then let's call it um, let's call it let's just keep it underscore bulk and then let's save that saves for us successfully okay so let's close this out now let's go back to our documents to see now we have uh, browse this download the latest version of csv open the csv file let us follow through this process okay together now so coming back to this you go back to bulk operation you go to bulk delete and then this time around you are going to upload the csv file click here then you go to your download your directory where the list of the users is saved this is bulk underscore bulk that we are bringing that up and then file uploaded successfully it will ask you at this point are you sure you want to perform the delete operation it will require you that you type in yes for this to be activated the submit option to be activated so we are going to click on yes 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 and then we're going to click on submit then when you click on submit scroll down a bit it tell you click here to view the status of each operation let's click down to see what the status of each operation is something is going to be loading up here right to show us what's happening here let's so let's look at it okay great so it's going to be saying this is successful this user is deleted already success this user is deleted already bulk operation bulk operation you delete user this click on this for more information so all of these users have been deleted at once okay now let's go home or let's even go to deleted users let's see if i'm going to see these users there let's go to deleted users here in azure active directory remember those users that we have in that csv file uh we can bring we had other users that were deleted here so let's bring up our csv file again just so we can see um we can see that that downloads uh, file explorer okay so it's now our downloads let's see bulk delete let's just see if they are now all in deleted users let me bring this down a bit no that's not what i wanted to do okay okay so okay let's just look at it we have um I think I can do it this way also. We have John, Paul, we have John Otagbo, we have Paul James, three of them. Of course, if we come to the deleted users here, we're going to see all of them Paul, James, John Otagbo, and um, yeah, and then um, Paul James, right? But other users who we originally deleted are still here, okay? Now, if you look at M365 Admin Center as well, you come back to, maybe you come back to users and then you go to deleted users. You are going to find the same users here also. Now, but there are two things that I want you to look at. From here, you can only export deleted users just so you want to have, maybe, um, maybe you just want to have a list of these users before an action is going to take place now that is downloaded already with all the users right that have been deleted so far now let's minimize this let's not say we want to permanently delete these users we can't do that from the m365 admin center look at it there is only option to restore the user there's only option to restore the user but if you come to this place azure active directory you have the option to permanently delete the user from your directory because if you do not do that they're going to be here for the next 30 days before they are 
permanently deleted. What we have been able to do at this point is what is called soft delete. After 30 days, you're going to have what is called hard delete. Now that we have soft deleted these users, we have the option to either restore them. When we click on this, for example, we have option to restore this user or the option to permanently delete this user. But for admin center, the only option you have is to restore the user. You don't have the option to permanently delete a user. So if you are asked in an interview, where can you permanently delete a user or where can you carry out these two actions? Soft delete and hard delete. It is in the Azure Active Directory. So if I want to delete John Paul forever from this thing, and let's say I want to use his email address again to create another user, I just come to this place, delete permanently, and I click on it. will ask me all data for this user will be irrevocably deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? I will continue to say OK. And then it will permanently delete this user. All right. Now this user is gone. OK. Now let's say I want to restore this user. I'll just click on this and then click on what restore user and this user is going to come back to my active users in a bit now user successfully restored so if we go back to this all users then we are going to have that journal tag but very soon listed among the active users that we have right here let's just wait a bit now that user definitely is going to be listed among the user here if it's not here now then it's going to be here very soon let me just refresh just one more time and see if it's going to come up now if it doesn't come up now definitely it's going to come up after a while let me just wait for that to refresh okay so that's that's already refreshed let's see now if it's going to be here now okay you can see it's already here as a member right now if we go back to this place as well we are going to we are not having him here because we have not refreshed no this deleted users right he is still here as deleted user but if we refresh this also i'm expecting him to disappear from deleted user list now to enter active users so let's see the list of the deleted users at this point of course he has left this deleted user because he has been restored from azure and let's check active users if it's going now to be there available let's see of course uh, if it's not here now, if we refresh, it's going. Of course, it's here already, and then we have the user restored to his normal state from deleted users. Now, what are what are we able to what, what were we able to achieve in this video? We're able to achieve that you can bulk delete users, you can permanently delete users, and you can restore the users that are deleted from your directory. So, I'm going to put this document this document in the description below. Kindly make sure that you read through this document just so you can understand how it is done. The example is also here for you to follow the CSB file. Thank you again. If you know you've not subscribed to this channel, please do because a lot of videos are going to be coming up here for us to see.